the weakest buy in the server. But, okay, Cloud9, they're actually going to prod towards middle. Buster wants to head on down. Favin, he's holding the line, spots the barrel. That's an easy frag for Big to kick this series off. Yeah, they were super expecting it. Well played on Big. Hype is going to get a kill there. Still a three on three. But that little flash that they put into top of Banana, you could see Big was well aware that there could be a peek coming in from behind that. And there was. Krimbo with the double in the middle. Nafini and Shiro get blown up. Nobody was expecting that push from Boiler. And it leaves Hobbit, like you said, the weakest buy in the server. He's got absolutely nothing but the USP. Out fighting in the open, eventually lands that headshot and Hype is very low on health. They gotta be careful, look at it, Hobbit, he's just charging the bomb site. He wants one more headshot, but the flashbang will be his doom at the end. And the pistol round, it goes to Big. It's, it's interesting that Big have never once, when they've been waiting out here, decided oh. about going somewhere else. They have to run through. There's no choice. There's so little time left, and this is going to be a short, so surely they're walking through that smoke. Here comes the swing from Shiro. A massive double. We're down to nine seconds. If Buster could find something through the smoke here, they're going to be done. He's trying, and it's close as well, but the bomb gets planted in the last seconds of the round, and now it's a 2-1-2. Two -two. You could see Keto's out. He is very low on health. If he'd caught one Deagle bullet through there, I think it would have been the end of the round, and there would have been no recovering it for big. This is a really tense moment. And look at the patience here. Jump out. But God, it's caught in the air. I can't believe it. They might lose the round anyway. Cloud9, they've done everything perfectly in this round. But still, Naphne is holding onto that ground very well. I have to commend his effort there because this is still keeping a three-man defense towards this A side. Shiro in front of the smoke. He knew that was going down behind him, and he uses it as an escape mechanism instead. They're trying to wrap on the A-bomb site. Tabson's going to get blown up as well. That's Nephany with the kill. But with that one from Keto, there is at least potentially a way into the site. Oh. Although they've lost the bomb back here, so I take that back. I thought they were further up on the other side, but I guess they got slowed down. Krimbo and Keto. Yeah, no chance at all, obviously, with the clock running out. But So, Molly there. This is a bit of retake utility for the top of Banana from Cloud9, and... The flash as well. Nafani doesn't commit to it. Very nice. Just goes for the jiggle. And he's able to find the first kill. A second kill. Third. Nafani already doing what is probably enough to secure this round for C9. Yeah, surely got to be. They weren't expecting Shiro. And oh my god. He keeps pushing forward. And they are absolutely fired up right now. Go bottom man, but they actually have some good space towards B. I'm not sure if they know that because they really want this bracket. And they go one for one on it. Krimbo, another one for one. So. 3v3, this is where Tabson has to put something together. This is actually a pretty favorable position yes. for the T side here. They are going to the weak side defense in Shiro. Early nade takes him down to 70, backing off the angle. He has no counter utility to work with. It has to be the shots for Shiro here. So far, he's playing like he could, and he's going to take down Keto now. It makes sense to relocate, and they need to push on forward before the back shows up. He actually hit that shot on Tabson, but not enough to take him down. The bomb, oh, right to the smoke! It's Hobbit to stop that bomb plant. And now Hype's in trouble. And he's going to have to go for it while that smoke is still up. When it fades, he's locked in here behind the fountain. And they're not even going to get him a chance to get the AWP back out again. Great end of the round for Hobbit. Best setup that we've seen thus far. Smoke and library, smoke and arch. They should have a nice path onto this A bomb site. But Hobbit, it doesn't even matter if there's a smoke in front of him. He's able to find a kill. Buster in the site now. Has to do a lot. And taps and takes him down. Axel getting caught jumping out of the balcony. But he finds the double. That should be enough. Cloud9 have somehow weathered the storm. And despite Big's positions, it's just Krimbo. Oh, let's see. One more headshot. He was trying to line it up. It would have been so cool. The first one was crisp. But... Maybe they don't need to, but it will. Look at this. Axile just charging the middle. And Flash is set up. They know that someone is coming and Hype is going to be able to contain him. Super important kill right there, but that strategy almost worked. And he's ready for more. The nades, they land on Hype, but he is still alive. You hold this bomb site on your own. I mean, the Molotov is a good start, but they're all waiting for him. He could have been dead right then and there. Tries to flash it out. He just wants to buy a little bit of time. He's got an HE, but throwing that is probably instant death. So he's going to wait around. Shiro gets caught in transition. And now there's no backup coming. It's either Buster getting the 4K or they're going to lose the round. Peeks out right into Hype, who is somehow still alive in the round. Fourth kill for him. He won this round almost on his own. Yeah, you're going to take a 4-1 KD. Yeah. You're all right with that. Yeah, here we see it. Yeah, that smoke. Still was able to center himself, go for the swing. All looking pretty sharp. Yeah, all these kills. Really is.
<laughs> and Shiro played to block defensive utilities there, but the flash takes him off the angle. But Buster still right here at CT. This is going to be very tough to breach this crossfire now. But Tapson, once again, chiming in. Kill on a Buster. Leave Shiro in the site by himself. He's playing in construction now. This is a pretty awkward position for the offer. Yeah, and they're already watching the flank. Because of the early aggressive push, they realize that someone could be behind them. Maybe a little bit quicker than you want. Oh, that stops the bomb! It must have been close. I want to know how close that was to a plant. Unbelievable. Tabson's out. And now it's a 2 on 3 Farvin's going to be sneaking and he knows he has to try. He has to try and do something. Otherwise, they're going to die anyway. Now all on hyped. If anyone could. One versus two as he gets that one. Fakes it and goes for oh. it again. He makes it look easy. Hobbit, though, crouching into the right time. He didn't realize where he was coming from. So close. Buster on three kills. Had a bit of a more quiet time. And this time, it's not that deep. They're just going to go straight for the B-bomb side. They feel that there might be a weakness. They've taken down Shiro. Nafani with the Famas. He can't get the third headshot in there. Hobbit hoping to get something through the smoke. But it is a three on three. And actually, oh, are they going to oh, be pushing oh. through? What? Like Crimbo just walked yeah. right through. Oh, Cloud9 aren't going to expect this. They are not going to expect this. Crimbo already deep. Double kill to close out the half. Big put themselves up to seven, showing a lot of fight here. And we're going to see who's able to take this one after a break. Yeah, it looks like this is actually going to be the A conversion for Cloud9. All four of their players headed over, but 15 seconds left. Oh, and that's the bomb down. Crimbo might have hit the shot that he needs to, but no, actually, Cloud9, they do recover. We'll find ourselves in a three-on-three -three post plant. There's no kit available for Big, so they've got to hurry up on this one. They planted the bomb with four seconds left, so any more kills down there in the pit for Crimbo, and you just never know. But surprisingly, it's turned into a three-on-three. -three. I'm not even sure how. And now this position for Hobbit could be really, really difficult for the CT to try and retake on. Buster jumping for his life, but he's going to go down at the end of it. Now just hype left. One versus two. He gets the reload in. And he's a little bit covered from the apartments, but it won't matter. Shiro takes him down with the P250. That's what society should be like. Everybody trying to get to the library. <laughs> That's what happens every time you go to the airport and everyone's trying to retrieve their luggage all at once. I think that was an ace. Reason. I think that was an ace. It's a little 360 with that too, actually. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. He did a 360 for the end? Yeah, he did a... An absolute gangster. Some ground to stand on early on. Cloud9 can be very hard to play against as well on the T side. Hype just going to be... Again, impressive. He's got 16 kills right now, and some other from us at range will beat Axile. That's also a difficult feat to achieve. Yeah, I'm just thinking about re-peaking that lane, but not quite sure. It was not the chicken that he scoped up for. It is that smoke. It's going to be perfectly time for it. Nephany never going to fire the rifle. Crimbo inside of it. He's the insurance policy, and Heitz will get one more kill. Make it a triple in the finals. Okay, Favin just with a swing, and that puts so much pressure on Tapson and Crimbo. Tapson right behind the default boxes. If he jumps up, this is going to be a lot of targets presented to him, and he's able to get the one. Now, oh no, everybody from Big is crumbling. In fact, they actually have their last two players towards his A side, but Buster on top of the boxes takes down Tapson, and Crimbo just playing right between Wedge in those smokes. And at this point, Cloud9, despite the chaos towards A, they're able to easily shift their attack over to the B site. The drop-off from those two, though, is really, really far down. Oh, wow. He just deleted Hobbit. That's absolutely sick. That's actually pretty significant. Money is not great for either team now. And solo rifles, you either see this boost assembled, Trimbo is going for or one by the first oranges. And I think as Cloud9 have discovered the location of that rifle, they should be backing up, but okay. I don't know how Crimbo gets that with from Napani. This is getting a little bit worrying for Hobbit, and somehow Big find the man advantage. They still have a couple players at A, and the bomb is right here at B. Oh no, this could be a disaster. Crimbo, another couple kills, and this should not have happened. C9, they could have just backed up. Yep. They could have fallen back, but they held their ground, and Crimbo just wins every consecutive fight. I don't know how he... There was an AWP train on that corner. They peeked right into it and still got the double kill after the fact. It's just ridiculous. Hype's going to be walking in and spotting out Buster. 
Even if hype goes down, there's no shot the Buster could do anything. That is so crazy. Crimbo, he starts the round with a double and gets another double behind it. Put themselves one map away from making it to Washington. Okay, a lot of utility exchange early on. The fight is here from Keto, taking down Axile, 5v4. And he's feeling pretty good about that. A little bit of a peek, and he didn't spot anyone towards Banana. Now Hype looks like he's the next to be challenged. Yeah, spots the elbow of Nafany, and that's enough. This is getting better and better for Big. C9, they're not able to find any space safely. They're just charging through a smoke now, right into Hyped. And he will easily deliver. It's the numbers behind it that make Hype's positions feel so unorthodox. The fact that there are more further up than what they're boosting. They're boosting a little bit further back than what he could see, but he's thinks that maybe someone could be going in there. Tabson, gotta be very, very careful here. Boost might actually work out. Tabson swings wide, very exposed, and Hobbit will take him down. They know exactly what Hyped is, so one versus three for him. He's gonna hit the first shot, and now time is running out. The backup is gonna be coming in through the middle. It's a little bit far away right now, so Hyped, he might have to do this on his own once again. Close up, and he almost pulls the trigger, but Hobbit, just in time. 15 seconds, the bomb is gonna be planted, and now it's Farvin and Crimbo. Very interesting. They do have a Molotov on Farvin, so it's possible that they could use that to isolate somebody once they figure out where that is. I don't think Shiro saw anything on that peak. I don't think he realizes yet. There's the Molotov in the back. Good headshot, though. So that grenade is kind of irrelevant at the moment. Now it's just all on Krimbo. He's been playing well so far. And he gets oh. a jump up. He knows Hobbit is not in the back. He's right down there. Oh. And he gets dropped. A kit in hand. And Krimbo with a double kill, a clutch, and another save. Add another to the tally. Yeah, but they have no reason to stay. Four on five now. And Big maintains some good space. Good utility from them. Axile pushes right on through. Would love to see a little bit of star power from C9 to get him back in this one. But it doesn't seem to be happening. Okay, actually, it is Nafany that delivers. Two kills for him. Picks up the op. Should be able to find a pretty safe plant on this site. I feel like Farvin could have had that kill on Nafany quite easily. That was definitely a little bit of a slip up. The nades, thunder, the rain down, and there's fire everywhere in the back. Nafany. He almost burns alive, but instead he comes out swinging. It's a quad kill for Nafany. What a time to come alive and maybe actually keep C9 in this map at the moment. That's huge. It's been tough out here. Keto's been defending it very well. And Tabson, you can see him with a flashbang in hand. He's ready and waiting for the signal to go, but it hasn't arrived. There it is. Flashbang on over in Farvin. He'll be the one to pick it up. Keto jumped up right on top. He is so hungry for these fights. Not scared at all, swings wider and does get the one tap on to Hobbit and AK, and he would have won that fight. But instead, Hobbit is left at 14 health. So, three versus four, and I think Big know everything they need to at the Time. moment. Time, 12 seconds, they gotta yeah. go. They gotta, but they're really slowing it down. That's probably it. That kill is enough. Even if they get him in return now, they can't plant the bomb. Shiro, just with the AK and the swing. All right, pretty quick on the trigger, but the round is still a bit lost, 14 to 12. They're still thinking about it. They're still not sure. Only 26 oh, seconds. Oh, and a peek from Hype. He should be dead and he will be. Nafany, that's real important. That's going to stop part of it. But again, time is the real enemy right now for Cloud9. Only 14 seconds. Oh. Nice shot from Tabson. That's going to distract. They still don't know about the back of the site. Only nine seconds left. Oh, they're going to be in for an ugly surprise. They think they can get it last second, but they cannot. Keto to steal the round and 15 on the side of Big. Oh, that was such a great ruse that they had going on at the B bomb site. You could see Cloud9 thought they were fighting CT spawn. He does. Three chances for Big to win their map pick now. This is real exciting for Big. Wonderful plays at the moment. Keto gets a bit overrun. Mac oh. 10 on the other side, and that's bold. Marvin, it's all on you right now. Looks like the grenade was good, but two versus three. And Cloud9 just... There definitely was a moment in time there where Big could have pulled the brakes. Cloud9 feeling pretty good about that one. A pretty simple call, all things considered. Just, hey, we're down. We oh, that's that's actually pretty significant. There, there wasn't that much money on Big. Whoa. That's surely going to be it. That grenade won't really do anything. Oh, this is scary. Farvin, oh. that's an important kill, but here comes the real army for Cloud9. Oh, they're slowed down again. They're not really going for it. Another smoke goes in. Wow. They might have the back. I really thought they were going to go for it. Oh, yeah. 
Oh my goodness. And Hype's just picking him off. This yeah. is looking too easy for Big. Cloud9 never actually put this deep, this attack together as a unit. And now they're just floundering. There's only a single smoke, a single flash. 30 seconds left and there's still Crimbo and Pit. This has felt so indecisive in this round. They need to pull the trigger and get onto that bomb site. What a flashbang to set up a little bit of a defense. Only 20 seconds, oh. Buster, finding his eighth kill in the game here. And there's, now we're down to 15. They need to do this a lot quicker. Pipe crouched in. He misses a shot, but Crimbo is there with him. And he's still the star player for the team. Eight seconds left. The bomb is being planted. Oh. And Heist, that's the kill to win the map. There is nothing that Shiro could do. He does not have the time for it. And it's 16 14 that the end oh it was ugly for both sides to try and finish that round but that last kill with yeda Luki, that was everything you could see the nerves on full display for both rosters but it's big that come out on top for map number one we still have a lot more series to be played crimbo though he's got two pistols so feeling much more confident oh they're going to be running at him they were turned with their back to try and flash their way through but crimbo with the double that's a huge opening just made shiro finally taking him down but wherever that flash was it certainly wasn't in crimbo's eyes they're going to go straight for the bomb plant here and i don't blame them this could be a tricky after plant though coming in on the side of cloud nine yeah, there's only a single smoke for big Got to deploy that right on the bomb. This duel is huge. Okay, oh. Shiro evens the numbers up. Buster still lying in wait. Actually, a bit more damage inflicted on a Shiro, and Buster finds his time to strike. Two kills for him. Quiet Inferno, but not on Vertigo. All up to hype. 1v3. Spots the backpack of Buster, but this is not going to happen for him as Buster finds a third. Him and Shiro connect to find every kill in the round for C9. They're not second-guessing this B-push yet. I kind of wanted to say, would, if they've been fighting this for a long time, a lot of people have started to show up. Farman and then taps him with the USP and Shiro back. He's got no help at all. Hobbit, he was holding for a flank. He was expecting something to maybe show up and it never did. And now they're down to 19 seconds and they might very well lose this round in a, feels like a very stubborn way. Just oh. hitting the B bomb sign over and over again. Even if you'd already signaled, even if they already knew, bomb is going to be attempted inside of the smoke here. Five seconds left as it drops. And Shiro wow. and Hobbit will go down in quick succession. Really about how much can he do with this spot? Presumably only Krimbo could save them if he came back, but he's walked the other way. Yeah, what a shock. Now they realize, and he's going to swing around and get Tabson as well. Oh, no. Yeah, like you said, round winning play. What a rare moment. He wins that. Yeah. So wild. Yeah, just one man play. That's all it takes. <laughs> and, and Naphne, remainder of this, and they have to be a little bit more decisive than this. They're just getting caught in a moment of transition. And yeah, this is just looking way too good for Cloud9. They're pressuring already from multiple angles. Big don't really have any space to work with. They're just getting boxed in right now, but they're still fighting. Okay, Krimbo, double spray down, and there it is. The side swipe from Hobbit, and now we're in a two-on-two -two post plant. Flashbang? No, you are. They did pick up a smoke. That's something. They have at least that to work with. Lands right on top, so that's a good one. And now the double op's a little bit interesting. Hobbit's not going to miss the opportunity, and now Keto. He might as well go straight for it. He picks up the kit and another smoke, and he's going to re-smoke it again and just has to hold it and pray that nothing goes wrong. Oh, the knife oh. inside, they can't find him. No, how has it happened? Big, they come out with the real. Oh. He gets both the kills as well. It's a miracle. Oh, my goodness. Keto with a little bit of magic there. And <laughs> Gavi had to get out of his chair for that. That should never have happened. Big, they're setting up for a B attack. Naphne B. right behind that wall. And yeah, Bobbin. Oh, good stuff. But Axel right there for the trade again. Three versus three. Some util is flying in. And this is a bit curious. There's two players from C9 right here. And Axel, he wants this fight. Tapson's holding the line still. So much damage being inflicted. And big, they just don't want to give up this space. But once again, Cloud9 are just relentlessly attacking this bomb site. In spite of the fact that there's obviously quite wow. a few people here. Tabson will take two of them down. And Hobbit is now on his own with just 17 seconds on the clock. The bomb is right there in front of him. Tabson fight to the death right here. Not going to give up the battle. He'll <laughs> find it as well. It's so aggressive. Hobbit goes down. Look at least like they want to try and see if they can be a little bit aggressive. And those retakes haven't been working out for big, so why not give it a shot here? Nice one. Hype going to get a third kill. Farman is there as well. 
And they're battling him on that ramp. Two versus three. Nasty. And oh. Buster now. That's a huge double kill. Somehow they bring it back from a two on three into a one versus two the other way. Keto to try and save the day. Sneaking on in, but Buster hasn't moved from the site at all, which is unlikely. You're expecting that he will. There's the kill, but he does reveal himself. And now Keto, he's got a real crack at it here. Buster must be feeling the pressure. He's got nowhere to stand, and the spray comes in. Keto with a clutch in the one versus two. And they're going to go and pick up the AWP, but that is a massive, massive round from Keto. To choose wisely. And height. Yeah, using this angle by the sandbags, really common for a lot of offers. See Jame here play a lot and uh, actually doesn't find anything. Okay, 4v4. This might play into the hands of Cloud9. Yeah, they want to pounce on this bomb site. Double kill for them. They're speeding up, but Bobbin, he wants to recover things before they even get this bomb planted. Looking for it, and there is another kill for Favin. 2v2 now, and he, constantly, he wants to keep on going. I don't think he knows that many is close right right now. This might spell his doom, and it does. Yeah, he definitely didn't know Keto to try and clutch it again in another one versus two. He did it once before, and he's going to be turning his back. I looked like he was about to get shot right away. He might be overthinking this. Yeah, I think, I th you're, think you're right there. I think he was assuming that Nafani was there and someone else had already got the bomb and had run with it. So that would have been sick if he was right about it. But he has maybe another shot at it here. Flash doesn't do anything. Walks in, spots out Buster. He can guess where the other player is. Swings for it there, but can't find the immediate headshot. And now time is running out. No way. There's one good. Can he do it again? No, Buster's right there. Oh. Tito! He's back at it. What a hero. How does he keep doing it? It was almost like the same thing again. Are we watching a rerun? Tabson has control of the ramp. He's playing this jump spot along with Hyped. They should be able to give their team advance forewarning. If anybody were to come, and Hype does even better than that. He gets one, he tries to get the second. Axile punishes, but Tapson still, hold, still holds on to this space. Crimbo is a little bit further back than they were expecting. And if you look at the clock, that's maybe another problem here for the T side. 20 seconds. Keto, he's tired of trying to clutch it one versus two. He wants to be the flanker this time, and he opens it up on Axile. What a resurgence from Keto at the late stages of this first half. Tapson with the final kill. Huge recovery from Big. Cloud9, they are in big trouble right now. We'll see if they can recover it after the break. You can call it out, saying there's a lot of people down here. If anyone's in any doubt, just listen to the footsteps on the other side. He's waiting for it. They have a double HE as well there on the big side. So wonder when they're going to pop that. Maybe they want the bomb plant Whoa. first. They're going to get the entries they wanted. Shiro gets overrun. It is a clean cut into the bomb side. Only Nafani able to respond. And that is not enough. Oh, just Axile. This is what Big needed. Yep, fair play. They had had some thoughts, had some ideas. They had every stage of that round mapped out. Right. And without utility, this position, usually good for a multi-frag. When it's Axile playing in, in it, you can expect that. They're taking the attention and Axile, the timing, I don't think it could have been better. And you're right. They don't have the utility. If they had a Molotov, it would have been a very different play smoke is set up just to try and create a bit of a one way so they can walk on to it flashbang it's not effective enough they're getting kind of close oh he sees it and you said multi-kill that's exactly what axile is going to deliver a double 15 seconds right here as they try and recover the round but big they're in a lot of trouble even if cloud don't have all the weapons they're right there in front of them tabson with the one and so the rundown they did get the bomb plant but nobody could stop nafani and, Sh and hobbit at the end there so good stuff yeah. They're staging this in a way that most teams don't really go for. Oh, Not Kido. Walk into the bottom. This is scary. Look at the time as well. There's only 18 seconds. They need to go right now. Flashbang was nearly good, but Buster is up close as well. And this attack has already been thwarted. you got to say, there's no chance to make their way through. Eight seconds. Farmer and hyped. Better to just stay away and save what you can here. I think it might have been a miss smoke, actually, at front sight. Uh, Nafani, oh, kill after time. That's pretty brutal. Hyped. 1750 left in the bank. That is not a great place to be. Okay, well, Nafani still holding on to this space. Hyped has a molly ready to go. They gotta hit this shot immediately on Nafani if they want to breach this site. Smoke at his feet. Okay, big. They're not even actually looking at it. Shiro and Nafani able to connect at the crossfire. Good flash as well, and this is just fish in a barrel. Big, they have no chance to actually breach at this point. Flank is there for Hobbit, and that is five alive. A flawless round for C9. <laughs> They're getting very, very, very close. 
Scary position for Buster Rabin. He actually recommits to it here. Oh. Fanbatch jumps up. He might be dead almost immediately. The one kill there is oh. at least something, but Axile, he doesn't have anyone with him. It's all up to the mechanics now, and he's so good once again. Another double kill for him. And now he's waited for it. He knows someone's going to be peeking there. Uses the smoke to his advantage. Farvin is nearly dead behind it. Oh, Axile, he's oh a champion at this bomb site. A quad kill, saving his team one more time. But Axile. He's still the raid boss. Oh, did he see that? I think he did. Oh, Keto. He finds the opening. Now, there's still someone at the back of the sign. And this is... If they overlook it, they shouldn't. They have Molotovs. Yeah, there we go. They force out Hobbit. Good use of utility for Beak. Even in a pressured situation here. 17 seconds, but both the players for Cloud9 have shown up. They're going to be pushing on to the side. Oh, they get mowed down. Crimbo with the bomb in his hand. Oh, no. Nafani. He takes down Hyped. And now Tabson has to recover the scenario. Five seconds left. Oh, yeah, he oh, has oh. to find the kill. He's not sure. He can't find him. And the time is going to expire. Oh, they run out of bullets at the end. It's the ugliest fight we've seen yet but it will go the way of cloud nine wow oh man the panic set in there for big oh, this is a little risky yeah it is it's, it's getting a little weird if hype oh yeah it's it's gotten a, it's gotten weird but the defense is here the backups there Napani can set up this crossfire although crimbo does hit the headshot shiro's got to be pretty careful right now but hobbit also here to back up his offer. Yeah, the, things have really settled down for C9, and Shiro's just jumping all over the place. It's getting pretty wacky over there towards the sandbags. Can't even see a way back into this for Big. No, it just, it doesn't seem like Big have the answer to the ramp control. Okay. There we go. There we go, Hyped. Yeah. Needed something like that. Finally. The man that has been so in control of this space is taken down. But on the other side of the map, Keto gives one up. Shiro to find the pick. Hobbit still hanging on to this space. And he doesn't have much backup. Buster is making his way towards long, but this is just such a strong off angle. Two kills for Hobbit. Buster should be able to activate now, right there. It's just easy pickings. Even when they lose Naphany, it is not enough to rattle Cloud9. Yeah, absolutely solid. You're right. In spite of being down four and five like that, 15-11, what a performance here for Cloud9, especially on the second half of this map. Shiro, yeah, feeling emboldened by the fact that they have such a win streak going. Napoli showing up as well, they're getting shut down, trying to come through the smoke right here. There's nothing they could do. Farming gets blown up, Kido is next, just sacrificing more people to Shiro. And Hype is the only one left inside of the smoke. They know it as well. And it's a 16-11 victory for Cloud9 on Vertigo. Their own map pick, which means we will get to see a third one. That's Mirage coming up to settle this. The final battleground, it will be right after the break. Stay tuned. A little bit of a jump back here. That smoke for Krimbo. All right, he's going to put it up very defensively. That actually probably is a better move for him, honestly, than throwing it into the hallway. Now he has a chance at a fight, but the Molotov to the back bench was too much to handle. Handle on that USB is going to be hot, but Hobbit's not really going to care. Axile will get the shot on Hype as well, and this is a very, very clean entry for Cloud9. Nice attempt, Tabs, and it's a, such a good read. He has both of these players pretty much zoned out, but he can't find the shot. Hobbit's going to get one more, and Tapson's out of luck as well. Farvin, last man standing, and only for all of a second. That was very clean, very decisive. Krimbo's here with Farvin, and they're going to have to do a lot of work. Ooh, Farvin is boosted up. His position sometimes does get overlooked, and they're praying that it will right now. If he doesn't get a multi-spray down, then the ro rotation's not going to happen. Tabson is miles away at the moment. Farvin instantly checked, and they should fall back. I don't know if this is worth it to keep going. Tabson wants to be the hero. 20 seconds left. He does spin around. He's not far from getting that double. That would have been huge. But yeah, very tough to try and win. Attempt at a wall bang, but in the middle, Nafferty clearing everything up, and they will lose every single rifle with only one casualty on the Cloud9 side. This is definitely a massive round for them. Yes. 30 second timer. They're also in the B hallway. So if they can get Farvin, maybe they can crunch that bomb side. Bomb's making this way 
into jungle right now. I don't know, this is everywhere. They're attacking the whole bomb site. Nafani, 20 seconds, and this is the right guess. Oh, what a nightmare if you're in this corner. Keto, right into oh. it, but he lands the headshot running. He still gets burned alive, but he actually ran into the HE. About 10 seconds now for the 2 on 2 and the bomb being planted, and nobody is there to stop it. Wow, I don't know how Cloud9 made their way back. Everything was going your way. Found a couple opening picks. And yet, Cloud9 were still able to bring it back. Good sneak up con from Nafani. I have no idea how he guessed that Keto was at Firebox there, but it was the perfect read. Brilliant stuff from the in-game leader. This could be a nearly free kill for Hyped. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> no! He gets mega peaked. Nafani, how did you get away with that? Again, Hyped has been so fast on the trigger, but... He's disappeared a little bit in some of these maps. Buster's going to be taking down Keto. Two for one. Make it a three for one. As Hobbit again, you mentioned it earlier, the confidence to peek out of the palace. He's just going to be able to take it. Even that kill for Krimbo doesn't really help them that much. They need to keep going, and Buster's going to be catching Krimbo. Farvin with the AWP, and no chance to go for it. Seven. You've got a little bit of shadow. You feel like you're always going to be able to win that fight, and then somehow it just doesn't work out that way. Farvin... Oh, they're right there waiting for him. <laughs> Buster is 9-0. and 0, Trying to make up for the second map. Right. Buster is a 145 ADR. Dear Lord. Hobbit again. This time not out of the palace, but he does walk into hype. Taps in there to take over. Finally, something that looks a little bit more reasonable, and maybe they could even slow it down enough. But he's got to be quick on the shot. Come off the boost again. That's... Maybe a little bit scary. Three peaks up right then and there. Does get almost shut down. They know where two of them are, but they lose Shiro in the meantime. So that's probably fine. 40 seconds and a very dangerous angle there. Axile, not favored to win that fight of the range. Buster might have his first death of the game of this map. So maybe that's something that we could be looking forward to. 25 seconds. He's got the right idea. Gets tagged anyway. And the grenade will finally take him down. Hyped having a little bit of a round here, and it's about time. So much pressure. Yeah. Are they just going to save this? It. Oh, jumping up there. That is a poor mechanical option from Hyped. Okay, this might open things up for Cloud9. They have an opportunity to find some kills, no. and they are doing that. No way. Okay, Tapson still here towards CT. He has a chance to lock this down, but Hobbit, oh no, Tapson missed the timing. They could plant, but oh, they won right into the waiting arms of the in-game leader. Five seconds left. They gotta get this bomb punch in right now. I think they have time for it, Anders. Yes, they do. Just oh no! They, he, I think he had time. I'm pretty sure that he had time. That's surprising. I'd like to see the replay. Did he take a step further than he needed to? Let's just see. So far, Cloud9 have been pretty good at hitting the bomb site. Krimbo, flash, Molotov reigns in. Oh, they jump out the window. He does shoot, and they realize great awareness. Farman alone, eight seconds, and they just run him down. Very late on the bomb plan right there. If anything had slipped up, they might have lost the round. Hobbit is going to get checked, but it's a two on three. And again, they don't have the money. If they lose these rifles, they will not be able to get them back. They sometimes don't even throw great smokes. But you have to put together the site defense. Your crossfire has to be good. You have to multi-frag. It puts a lot of pressure on people like Krimbo and Favin trying to defend yeah. that B bomb site. And when Krimbo has this one little slip up mechanically, then it all just comes falling apart. And where so many teams would want to contest for map control, they want to take space. Big are trying this one style and it is just blowing up in their faces. This is what you wanted this team to look like when they made the swap to get Buster for Inters. Yeah, super encouraging in that sense. That's right. That's a good thing to think about. Ooh, nicely done. I think Nafani was assuming that absolutely no way he's going to be down there for a second round. But Tabson backs out. That's probably not a necessary casualty there. I think Tabson could have been a little bit more careful. Buster is going to be taking down Keto, who's had a dreadful first half. He's at three kills right now. Krimbo's at four. And a two on four unfolding. And then they just wait for you to make that mistake, to get aggressive by yourself, to go for an unsupported peak, no flash, no trade, whatever it is. And they're just holding every single angle. They're just ready for you. And finally, they pounce together. Hyped, he was trying to play that close angle, but Hyped has just had such difficulty. I, I would say that if, if you really want... So, the narrative is that Big knew what was coming.
coming. So, so Big knew what was coming. They prepped for it. Was building to this third map because it looked like it was going to be very close. I think Big made a really good case for themselves. Axile shooting the TV as much as he was, Farvin. Gosh. Okay, whatever. Yeah, the, the, uh, Cloud9 just feels so untouchable in these moments. Yeah, nothing is working. When the AK <laughs> out Even of the map. With the AK, why not? Okay. Well, Keto, yeah, he's going to try to make something happen. Let's see if he gets a multi-frag, Anders. There's a, there's a chance to ruin C9's day. There, is. there are 20 seconds left, and Keto, got to do something magical. One headshot's not going to be enough. Got to come up with more, and it's not going to happen. 10 oh. seconds, and Tabson, yeah, he's on the flank, but... He's going to say if he, one. if he ran to shoot the bomb, maybe, but... All right, all against Tabson. Shiro will take him down. This is way too convincing. Getting blown up. Copper chain mail. Yeah. Not good. All right. Yep. All right, he's got it. Oh. Shiro has been waiting forever and ever, but... Oh. Even though he was flashed and actually off the angle, Tamson just missed the shot. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Three versus four in 40 seconds. Bomb leaning towards the B side. Axaldo says, just hold, hold on for a minute. Let me see if I just can't find one more kill just to make it even more obnoxious. He's going to hear that smoke down to the A ramp. Oh so they know God. that one of them is oh in the A ramp. And God. God. Why? Why is he doing it? Yeah, he knows where Keto is. You heard the smoke go. So there's not even any surprises. No saving on this one. It is the 15th round. Bomb is going to be planted. And Cloud9 just Bomb has been planted. an absolutely unstoppable force on this opening half shiro will take him down 13 to 2 and cloud nine they are so close to get into washington we'll be right back this pistol has to be it still might not be enough but it has to be it yeah you got to start here there's a lot of people at the bomb site for uh, for cloud nine that's a bit scary instant headshot from hobbit and now the rest are gonna swing they're not even fighting him hobbit's just got all the free shots nobody's fighting what is going on maui why are they not right. turning around is that the first shot of the round i feel like crimbo's the first one to even left click on his team with this nightmare in the back of your head at least at least get something. Yeah, this is this is what big need. Just a, just a little bit of some right. headshots, you know. Just get us going in this one. All right, not a bad start. Nice. Hobbit and Shiro in a two versus five now. Find a way to lose it, big. You know you can. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's possible, Anders. Yeah, of course it is. Shiro. Oh, good. Another headshot with the deagle. All on Hobbit. They don't know where he is yet, but they're going to find out real soon. A little bit of a jump pass. Hobbit bows on down, and there's Tabson. That's great. All right. Chance finally. And I think the, that's... I thought maybe he was going to get a flash from, I guess, Hobbit or somebody else, but that doesn't happen either. They just smoke him off and decide to move on. Hobbit back with the one. That's a good headshot. Some oh more damage. Here's a second. Oh, oh my. no. Please, big. This is the big chance. Kido's going to get a couple in return, but it's still a 2-1-3. Oh. And Buster, he's been lurking back there. He actually read it very well. Had the idea that maybe Farmer was going to be in there late. Hobbit at the back of the bomb site has already done tremendous damage. And now he's oh, back my. for more. A double tack to bring down Farvin. And it's 30 seconds here. Nafani versus Kido. But Kido has no idea where to look. Nafani could be almost anywhere at this point in time. And that's scary when you have to try and put the bomb down. You have to check the site. If you don't, and he walks out while you're planting, it's a really bad loss. He's going to get the... Oh, wait a minute. No. There's no way, right? No, okay. I, I, he can't push, but I think Nafani knows that he has to push now himself. Yeah. Oh, this is super scary. Keto, he goes straight for it. Nafani's managed to walk out the window right behind him, and there he is with a 5-7 to catch him. Oh, no. Out of all the rounds that they could have lost, the fact that they won with the deals and then get instantly punished. Found his own timing. Yeah, good yeah. stuff from the in-game leader. Nafani has had an excellent mirage thus far. Every There's been multiple pop-offs on his team, but in terms oh. of just how this game has gone, in terms of the what he's done as a captain for this roster in this game, it's been convincing. Yeah, definitely. In the underpass, ready to spring on this opportunity. Just let them off the leash. Big, do whatever they want. Ooh, setting up with a grenade. Keto is going to get caught. Farvin looked like he really wanted to jump that one. They're actually going to go for it and already being attacked. Oh, my oh, God. No. They got blown up the exile nade oh. from below. 
What a disgusting <gasps> bit of revenge for Axel. Oh, hype is on his own. His teammates blown up. He is triangulated. They know where he is. And just with the scout in his hand, He's going to get that shot on Buster, but they're all coming oh. from another day. Lands it. <laughs> Shiro to end it. Oh, Cloud9 are going to Washington as they defeat big in a huge way here on the final map. What a team. Yeah, excellent stuff from Cloud9. Huge performances from Hobbit, Buster, Shiro. The whole gang got involved, and they are headed to America's capital. They deserve it.